divided and confrontational world in which the West must prevail and observe itself from any attempt to logic that is criticized and rejected by the vast majority of analysts and editors. In short, international... Mr. High Representatives, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, and dear friends, it's a pleasure to address you at the ninth global forum of the United Nations Alliance of the Civilizations. Let me convey the greetings of my President Erdogan, co-initiator of the Alliance, together with then uh, Prime Minister of Spain, Mr. Zapatero. I'm very happy that Mr. Zapatero is, uh, is with us today. And thank you very much for your continued commitment and your support to your initiative and the Alliance with the <laughs> Let me also thank our host, Morocco, and my brother, Nasser, for bringing us uh, together uh, here. With 158 members, the Alliance is one of the most widely supported initiatives of the United Nations. We welcome our Turkmen brothers as our new member. Turkey and Spain launched the Alliance of Civilizations nearly 17 years ago. We were convinced uh, that we were doing the right thing. But even we uh, couldn't have known uh, all the time uh, that this was uh, going to be a timeless uh, initiative. 17 years ago, we were in a different world. This may be uh, the age of crisis and even war resulting from non, uh, nation state competition, uh, superpower rivalry, and the major social economic upheaval, prejudices, and feelings of disconnect that we were built over generations. But we have to start from somewhere. In the meantime, humanity is confronted uh, with the task uh, to end human, human suffering. United Nations Alliance of Civilization is not a just good idea. It is a solid plan to work. Its action plan is built on three important lines of work. These are preventive diplomacy, mediation, and preventing and uh, countering violent uh, extremism. Uh, if even one of these pillars fall, there will be human uh, suffering. With the alliance in place, the international community was able to take important steps uh, together. This year, the General Assembly declared March 15, uh, which is the anniversary of uh, Christchurch attacks, uh, as the International Day Against Islamophobia. In 2021, our uh, plan of action uh, to safeguard religious sites was endorsed by the uh, UN General Assembly. And in 2020, I represent Moratino, my dear friend Miguel, was designated the first ever UN focal point to monitor anti-Semitism. I applaud uh, these achievements, which give us hope to do more. Mediation, uh, to which my country has been attaching major importance, uh, proved its merit uh, in, uh, in the service of uh, humanity. And Istanbul, uh, the seat of the Istanbul Mediation Conferences, has been the uh, epicenter uh, of uh, this work. Here, let me uh, thank Secretary General uh, Guterres for his efforts uh, on the Istanbul Grain uh, Initiative together with my president, Erdogan. And uh, thanks to the initiative, great uh, prices went down at the, the historic level and there was a, a global uh, relief. Last week, again, again, together we succeeded in extending the agreement for another uh, four months. Yet, challenges remain uh, as the war continues, so we will continue to work closely with the United uh, Nations. Dear colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, to play a greater role, the Alliance needs to have the means and uh, outreach. I welcome the first ever global forum meeting in the African continent with open arms. The opening of our Geneva office was an important step. Establishing the regional office for mediation, uh, prevention and dialogue in Istanbul will be another milestone. 
equally important are the steps to further strengthen our ties to the United uh, Nations. Making uh, multilateral cooperation stronger is critical to our work here at the Alliance. Dear friends, let me end my remarks with a quote from Rumi. Not the ones speaking the same language, but the ones sharing the same feeling understand each other. Thank you very much. I invite Your Excellency, Ms. Pilar Cancela Rodriguez.